Ebony and I am back. So here's the deal. I recently went on a mini vacation. I went to Vegas. I met up with two of my Facebook friends we had never met in person before. And I had a really great time. But as soon as I got back to the office, I had a ton of wig orders. So first things first, as y'all know, we write everything down on the board so we know exactly what it is we need to work on and we can start getting things tackled. get asked a question that deals with what it is that I do or what is my process for taking in orders while I am on vacation because as you all know your girl like to go on vacation often at least what I would consider as often which is three to four times a year I feel like we work so hard we we're not on earth to work every day of our life. We are on earth to actually enjoy and to experience life. So you don't wanna be the person that's all caught up, that you're always working, always working, but you don't get to reap the benefits of your work. So that is why I love traveling. I love having frequent self-care days, all of that good stuff. So it is very vital and important if you're a new business owner, I feel like a mistake I made being a new business owner was just trying to work all around the clock, not getting any sleep, just working, 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 working. Like I thought I had to work all day, every day. Like I had to adapt a hustler's mentality in order to make a lot of money. But what I've realized over time is that the people who make the most money, they often don't work that hard. They let their ideas work for them. They use their mind and they come up with systems or different processes, or is it processes? Processes or processes, I don't know. But they come up with different things and then they delegate. They delegate. Y'all, I'm messing up all my words. <laughs> they delegate and they outsource while they sit back on the island and watch other people kind of work for them and bring their plans into action. So long story short, you are to work smarter, not work harder. But let's get back on topic. So I am mainly a wig maker as of now, and um, I sell way more wigs and make way more wigs than I sell hair bundles. So as you know, for custom wigs, there's a longer turnaround time. And y'all will hear me speak about turnaround times all of the time because it is vital to have a turnaround time or a processing period when you're making custom wigs. you When you're making custom items, you never wanna tell people, oh, I can make you a custom wig in 24 hours or 48 hours. You really have to add, like, you want to give yourself some wiggle room. So if you gotta order the hair from your supplier, you have enough time to get the hair. If you have kids and you know, like, you're a mom, like you're you're a full-time mom, okay? Being a mom is a 24-hour job, seven-day-a-week job. So if you have kids, you need to add family time into that processing time. You need to add in sick days because, you know, the kids always get sick on days that they're, like, right when you have, like, um a heavy workload or you're just super busy, that's always when a child gets sick, you know? So you have to be able to add that into your turnaround times. 
um, personal sick days, self-care days, vacations. Like you need to be thinking about all of this stuff when you are creating policies on your website and when you are having a processing period or turnaround time, period. Also, you want to think about mistakes. Like what if your vendor sends you the wrong hair, sends you a, a bad batch of hair? What if there are shipping delays? What if, like all of the wet ifs, you want to take that into consideration. So I would say um, the amount of time it takes me to receive the hair and then that plus the amount of time it takes to um, make the wig and to style the wig, I can have wigs created in about four to five days, okay? In about four to five days. But when I add in like breaks and self-care days and sick days and vacation days or whatever I want to add to it, also like if you're busy and you have a lot of orders coming in and you're only one person, right? You got to add all of that stuff into it. I ended up making my turnaround time and my processing period for custom wig orders seven to 14 business days. So because of that, I am able to have a weekend vacation or to have a five day vacation. And I'm still able to come back home and get the orders done and have them all sent out. So your turnaround time and your processing time is gonna help you a lot if you are a custom wig maker or if you create custom items because people they already expect for a custom item to take longer to get so it's easier to throw in all of those extra days because you know it makes sense but at the same time don't feel bad for taking your time to create stuff because you should be taking your time you shouldn't be rushing um, if this is something you're passionate about, something you love doing, who wants to be rushed doing something they love doing? Like think about like grandma and she's making you a home cooked meal. Do you really want her to, you know, make you some oxtails, some smothered, you know, pork chops or whatever you could think of like your favorite meal from your grandma? Do you really want her to make that meal in 30 minutes? Or do you want her to take her time and put her love into it and be in the kitchen making that meal, slow cooking it for eight to 10 hours? Okay, which one would you prefer? So you have to understand like if this is something you're passionate about and something that you love, you really want to take your time with it. You don't want to rush it. You don't want to become stressed out because you've taken on so many orders and you promise. Uh oh, sorry y'all. I'm currently bleaching knots as I'm doing this song. <laughs> this voiceover, so I had to set an alarm for myself. Um, but you want to be able to take your time. Like you don't want to be stressed out or overwhelmed because you're trying to create way too many wig orders. Um, you have these short turnaround times and just everything is becoming chaotic. So it's important to understand like you should be able to take your time doing what you enjoy to do. You should be able to have time scheduled for yourself to love on yourself and to do, do things that you are worthy of doing such as traveling. So that is basically like what I do now when it comes to the custom wig making. But yeah, I wanted to come because it's been a while since I posted a video and I wanted to just answer that quick question about going on vacation while still taking orders. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. If you're interested in wig making courses, click the link in the description box. And until next time.